Hello and welcome to number 9, Craigard in Le Hinch County Clare. This is a fantastic four bedroom detached family home located in this nice elevated site of similarly designed homes. All done circled around this nice green area here to the front. You have ample off street parking to the front of the property here with double gated side access at both sides of the property. So let's take a look at the inside of number nine. So this really is a fantastic holiday home or permanent residence. This is literally 600 meters from the town center of Le Hinch, the championship and castle golf courses, and of course, easy access along any direction you want to go on the, on the Wild Atlantic Way. And of course, as you walk in the front door of this house, what a wow reception you get. A really vast open plan, double reception. You have a sitting room here to this side, which is to the front, and another one to the rear of the property, which en enjoys access onto the patio and has the vaulted ceiling and so on, which you'll see very shortly. But from the main entrance hallway, you have a door here leading to a double ensuite bedroom additional access uh, to storage underneath the stairs and you can again see the high-end finish I, I, I'm probably going a little bit wrong in my walk about this house but there's certainly so many features it's hard to focus in uh, and or walk away from them I should say uh, once you've seen them so let's give you a better layout again um, from the start here's your uh, front door into this open plan kitchen dining you can see the standard of finish in terms of the wide uh, plank uh, flooring here to the, which is extended throughout the house this is upstairs and downstairs so a very high finish indeed so as mentioned you have a nice little tv area here for evening chill out or for the kids this opens into the um, formal dining room and look at this fantastic kitchen with the raised and extended island to facilitate breakfast eating. You have a state-of-the-art modern fitted kitchen with your integrated appliances. The sink very neatly done into the granite work surfaces. You have your five ring gas hob here to the right hand side with the overhead extractor hood and fan and that has your integrated lighting as well. You have a double fan assisted oven positioned here to the left and space for your fridge freezer and eye level glass units as well with the recessed ceiling lighting above nice feature lights around the rest of the property which again you'll see as we go around so nice integration here between all this open plan space so from family living or entertaining you certainly won't be out of limelight or missing any of the conversations that are going on and here's a fantastic family space which connects via double doors out onto the back. And this has the great sense of space or additional space with the vaulted ceiling. No shortage of natural light as you can well see. And that of course is out onto that patio and gardens. And all those gardens here to the left hand side which we'll go out to very shortly uh, are part of the property of course. So another view of this open plan space and how it integrates into one another. Really, really very well finished, well thought out by the current owner. This door here is into the utility, which we will leave for you on your, for your private inspection. That has all the built-in units, again, similar to the kitchen with French doors out onto the decking, which you'll see when we go outside. So before we go up the stairs, we'll take in the ground floor double bedroom. So again, you can see no shortage of the natural light. You have your recessed lighting here above. Uh, freestanding wardrobes, but there's certainly no shortage of space uh, to, to build in units if you wanted to. So hopefully it gives you a great sense of uh, what space is in this house, particularly when you see the double couch unit here. And this connects into that ground floor ensuite which very smartly connects back into the utility. So this acts as a ground floor guest shower room or WC, but also acts as an ensuite bedroom to the ground floor room. 
So again, just to show you the finishes and the high end that they are. So we'll take a look at the first floor accommodation now. So on arriving at the landing, you have four doors on the landing space. This door here straight ahead of me is into the uh, bedroom number two. We've bedroom number three here. In a door into the shower room and straight down the end here is into another double bedroom. You can again appreciate the size. Here's a double bed on the right hand side. You have a double bed on the bottom here and, a, and, a, and the bunk, upper bunk, single unit. Access to additional eave storage is through here. And again, you can see the space, the indentation here for a built-in mode if you, if you wanted to put one in. So back out into this hallway and the nicely integrated uh, shower room here to the right hand side. And again, it's just the, the smart design, fixtures and fittings, very well thought out and so well presented that this really is your turnkey home. Just a stone's throw from the Hinch Centre. Into bedroom number three here. And then you have your, what we have called the master bedroom, uh, which is en suite. And again, you can see the double bed. You have your chest here to the right hand side. This also takes a single bed, so this could be a couch, it could be whatever you want to make it, but great family living. And this has your fully equipped ensuite off of that as well. So we'll step outside and have a look at the fantastic gardens. Again, just look at the finish that the owners have put into this home with the brick paving. You have your raised dry stone wall with your scanner capping. You've integrated lighting going right around the space. So a nice ambience at night time, and that runs right around this vast patio. You do have your sea view when you're by the coast, even though you're only 600 meters from it, it's nice to have some bit of a glimpse of, 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 of the water. And this certainly has it, and it's a better view in reality, and you'll appreciate that when you inspect. But what a great outdoor space, immediately off that main reception room. And of course, it doesn't stop there because you have very generous side gardens here to the right hand side. And as we swing over and we approach the raised decking and barbecue area, I mean, again, I hope you're getting to appreciate the level of finish and detail that this home boasts. Still plenty to be seen on the outside. You have your garden shed on your on your concrete slab here to the left you have your steps down into your lawn area and again all that integrated lighting runs right along to the garden so really nice space in the evening time you can see this 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 light here and you have several of those that run right around the boundary but we'll pop over here to the and work our way down from the shed so you get a, a better appreciation. You can see the double side access here to the front, your shed, you have your sleepers, all the scanner flagging here, I should say, running down, your oil tank here to the left hand side, your hose and pressure systems here to the left, nice raised be beds for vegetables, even if you want to make it, and you have another vegetable plot that isn't acting as a vegetable plot, certainly at the moment, but you have it here on the left hand side, bound by your railway sleepers. Again, look at that, the scanner pathway, leading all the way down to once again a very nice chill out space at the back of the garden. Nice mature shrubs, carefully selected for the environment that you're in. And again a nice little raised reading area here. So what a great outdoor space to complement what is a fantastic finish to the interior. So if you would like further information on this fantastic detached residence, just a stone's throw from the Hinch Seaside Town Centre, please feel free to call us on 065 
6840200 or email us info at dngosullivanhurley.com. Thank you for watching.